Good evening friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. Today we are going to see how to use the GPU in MacBook M4, MacBook Air M4. So for that we first use open a terminal and then give the command Python 3 first to enable it. So we have to enable the Xcode license. So once we enable the Xcode license using the sudo command, I'll give the, all the commands uh, in the description. You can able to use that. So now when I use Python 3, you can see the Python is installed. So just we have to enable the licensing for the Xcode and then we can able to use that. So in this video, we will give a detailed deep learning application, probably a convolution neural network and we will run it on the CPU, uh, MacBook Air GPU and uh, to compare it with Google Colab also we will do. So after Python 3 is installed, we have to install the PIP packages for downloading all the packages. So for that we have to uh, use the curl command to download the uh, pip packages so i just give the commands below so then you can able to use that now when we use pip3 install torch torch vision torch audio uh, jupiter so we are installing all these packages uh, using this pip3 libraries so all the packages this might take some time because of the uh, shorter duration i just disconnected that video and and once it is downloaded, you can see we are using matplot library. So this is for plotting the characteristics or plotting the curves. So we use matplotlib. So this is also installed using pip3 library. So there are so many packages that we can able to do. So now we are starting the notebook uh, python3 space hyphen m notebook. So once we do that automatically a window from a browser will be popping out and that will be showing you the Jupyter notebook. So here we create a new notebook and we have untitled ipvnb so double click it so that it will open in a new uh, window so now in this window we first check uh, how to use the gpu so actually uh, apple uses something called as metal performance shaders mps generally nvidia cards nvidia cards they use something called as cuda cuda but apple gpus if you want to enable apple gpus you have to use the mps metal performance shaders so you can see the code checks here mps is available and built into pytorch so MPS means metal performance shaders which can be used to do activate and run the GPUs of MacBook Airs. So you can able to use all the M series. You can uh, enable this metal performance shaders. So let us run one example of uh, deep learning application in uh, this MPS. So to compare against the CPU and the GPU, I will run uh, the same application uh, one time in GPU and one time in CPU so that you can able to compare the differences as we said that a MacBook Air M4 it has some 10 GPU so my uh, my model what I use the MacBook Air have 10 GPUs and 10 CPU so GPUs they are not that much powerful like you get in NVIDIA but uh, some of the applications we can able to do uh, using this GPU so now I have an example called as uh, convolution neural network where I am using one CIFAR data set and with a convolution neural network so you can see a simple CNN uh, neural network we again the learning rate of 0 0.001 this is one hyperparameter and number of epochs is totally five epochs epochs means uh, traversing through the data set uh, in the how many number of times so five, five number of times the entire model will be training the data set so the training time also I am just printing so that uh, the prediction also I am just printing so to start with uh, it, it initially take the matplot library to build the font cache it took some time so uh, i just cut short it now when you see the training uh, time so i am just using only the cpu now you can see uh, how fast it is actually i have just uh, fast forward the video uh, else uh, you have to wait for some time so that's why it is fast forward it so the above is being trained only on cpu mode so i am just make to run it on the only on the cpu mode so that's why i am just given the command there as uh, torch device equal to cpu only so this will be running uh, as per uh, thing 112 seconds you can see 112.77 seconds so 112 so almost two minutes uh, this cifar data set is a basic data set and uh, it took uh, 112 seconds in the cpu mode okay so now the same example i am going to run it on a uh, gpu so now let us run The model using MPS that is metal performance shaders that is a GPU of uh, MacBook M4 so that we will be running it so only one change we have to do is uh, we will use the same example 
So now we can see instead of this device, we use torch device MPS if torch dot backend dot MPS is available, else CPU. In case MPS is available, we will use uh, MPS or else you can uh, you schedule using the CPU. Now we just copied that entire source code and I'm just running it now. Now we can see the training time. Now again, I just fast forward the video here because the time taken will be uh, something beyond the waiting time. Actually, it took around uh, something around 94 seconds or something. So 94 seconds is uh, almost uh, 20 seconds uh, lesser than the CPU. So the GPU performs 94 and the CPU perform like this. And I'm just going to Google Colab, uh, which is one online platform, uh, Google who gives the GPU and CPUs. So first I use the runtime of uh, Google uh, uh, GPU runtime and uh, using the same example in the GPU. So in this case, we have to use the CUDA because MPS is not uh, understood by uh, Google. So we have to use the CUDA libraries for uh, GPU. Now in this case, we can able to see uh, how long it takes So Google uh, GPU takes around 62 seconds. Now again, I'm changing the runtime and I'm using CPU now. So Google uh, gives, uh, Google Colab gives CPU also. I'm just trying in the CPU now. Now the same example, I'm just copying it here and uh, create a new uh, code and then paste it there. And only one change I need to do is I need to uh, comment out, uncomment out other information and make CPU to run. So all other things and CPU, I'm enabling. So I'm forcing to run it on the CPU alone. Now in this case, the CPU uh, time, it takes, this is the longest time uh, because uh, they give uh, free CPUs. So it took uh, somewhere around uh, 134 seconds. That's what uh, we experienced it. So again, I just fast forward, fast forward the video because of uh, the waiting time you can see it's somewhere around 134 seconds so that is a training time so training time means uh, the model takes that much trained uh, that much time to take the uh, to train the model so now we have got uh, four information so the information here is how we uh, analyze this so we have used we have compared four different uh, uh, processing units so one processing unit is now we can see m4 cpus m4 cpu we took around 112 seconds approximately and M4 GPU, it took around uh, 93 seconds. 93 seconds is almost 20 seconds uh, slower than a CPU. So GPUs are slightly faster compared to it, but uh, we may not compare it to the NVIDIA uh, chipsets. And uh, Google Colab CPU took 134 seconds and Google Colab GPU took around uh, 62 seconds. So many times we can able to have most of our jobs will be happened with the help of uh, Google GPU itself. But in case if you want to try out uh, MacBooks, uh, we have an option of using the GPUs. So we can use your Mac MacBook here for uh, GPU operations. And uh, sometimes we use heavy load task, uh, the Mac uh, MPS really perform well. Maybe in some other applications, I'll just show you how the uh, Mac GPUs uh, handle the huge uh, data set. Now this is what I just compared the four results. So 112, 93, 134 and finally 62 seconds.